Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Let's take a deep dive into the 1969 classic, True Grit. Can you recall your first viewing experience of this film? It's got humor, surprises, and moments that really tug at your heartstrings. Stick around because we've got some fascinating details lined up for you. True Grit features a talented cast, each playing a crucial role. Which character stood out to you the most? Feel free to drop your favorite in the comments. Now, let's reminisce. What's your fondest memory or personal story connected to this cinematic treasure? We're all ears, so share your tales below. There's plenty more to discover about this movie, so keep watching for some surprising facts. We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories spill the beans in the comments section. And remember, our journey into the world of True Grit is just beginning. Stay tuned for more movie magic. Certainly. True Grit, the 1969 film, had a lasting influence on cinema that is still felt today. It reshaped the Western genre by introducing a new perspective through its strong female lead, Maddie Ross. Played by Haley Steinfeld, she challenged traditional gender roles and became a memorable character in film history. The movie explored themes of justice, vengeance, loyalty, and determination, resonating deeply with audiences. John Wayne's performance as Rooster Cogburn earned him an Academy Award, contributing to the film's enduring popularity. The memorable dialogue and captivating storyline continue to engage new generations of viewers. The film's impact can be seen in subsequent westerns and productions featuring strong female protagonists. True Grit remains relevant due to its timeless themes and compelling characters that still connect with audiences. It highlights the enduring power of storytelling and the influence of a well-crafted film. In a memorable movie moment, Jim Burke stepped in as John Wayne's stunt double, doing a tricky scene where they jumped over a fence. John Wayne, famous for his roles, called this film a big change because it was his first important character part in 20 years. Instead of playing himself, he got into a different character. Something interesting happened with the casting. At first, John Wayne wanted his daughter, Asa Wayne, to play the role of Maddie Ross. But the director, Henry Hathaway, didn't agree. He chose someone else for the part, avoiding family favoritism. All these decisions and performances behind the scenes added to the movie's long-lasting popularity. They showed audiences how well a veteran actor like Wayne could adapt. This movie is a good example of how things come together to make a classic. During the filming of True Grit, he relied on drugs to manage his weight, using uppers during the day and downers at night. However, this regimen sometimes backfired as he mistakenly took downers before a taping of the Dean Martin show. Consequently, he felt too doped up to perform, but Martin reassured him, saying it wasn't a problem. Despite criticism of his performance in the movie, he won the Best Actor Oscar, largely seen as a nod to his lengthy career. The Ross family farm, pivotal in the film, was situated near Dardanelle in Yale County, approximately 80 miles east of Fort Smith, Arkansas. In a time of disagreement, the film True Grit brought together well-known actors from the silver screen. John Wayne, known for tough roles, starred in this classic western alongside Kim Darby. Behind the scenes, he faced speculation about his potential Oscar win because of his strong support for the Vietnam War despite public disapproval. Meanwhile, actors like Robert Duvall and Dennis Hopper, though not in True Grit together, later worked on Apocalypse Now. Hopper, as a director, collaborated with Duvall in Colors, strengthening their bond beyond the famous Western. Amid the drama and action, a significant part of the story unfolds as Maddie Ross, played by Kim Darby, offers a bounty to Marshall Cogburn, played by John Wayne. This $100,000 reward, equal to nearly $2,975,000 today, shows the economic aspects within the movie's plot. In the history of cinema, True Grit shows the lasting impact of its cast and the socio-political issues of its time. The film might be set in the Old West, but its themes and conflicts connect with audiences for generations. In the film, the character Maddie breaks away from traditional female roles seen in other movies of the time. Unlike many female characters who were often portrayed as damsels in distress or supporting roles, Maddie takes on a more progressive and central role in the storyline. Her portrayal set a precedent for later strong female characters in cinema, such as Princess Leia and Marion Ravenwood. During a notable scene where Rooster Cogburn confronts Ned Pepper's gang on horseback, stunt double Jim Burke took the reins. John Wayne, known for his role as Rooster, only appeared briefly in a close-up shot. Interestingly, Wayne was not even riding a horse during this scene. He was actually on a trailer. The Finnish censorship certificate 707983 underscores the film's reach and impact beyond American borders, indicating its international recognition and approval. 
Overall, True Grit's depiction of a strong, independent female character and its innovative use of stunt doubles highlight its significance in both American cinema and global cultural context. Several notable actresses, including Mia Farrow, were considered for the role of Maddie, but she declined due to warnings about the director's difficult nature. Farrow attempted to have the director replaced, but was unsuccessful, later regretting her decision. John Wayne's Oscar win for the film was viewed as a recognition of his entire career, rather than solely his performance, which had received mixed reviews. Some critics found his acting to be exaggerated and excessive. Notably, Ronald Reagan mentioned in a Reader's Digest article that the award aimed to compensate for Wayne's lack of nominations in earlier notable films. Wayne also had confrontations over politics, once with British film critic Barry Norman during the filming of another movie and later while promoting the film, resulting in nearly physical altercations on both occasions. Despite these clashes, Norman praised Wayne's acting abilities in his writings. In summary, despite its success and recognition, the making of the film was not without its challenges and controversies involving disagreements among cast and crew as well as clashes over political views. Despite initial doubts about Kim Darby's acting skills from John Wayne and director Henry Hathaway, Kim Darby praised John Wayne, describing him as wonderful to work with. However, Kim Darby made it clear to producer Hal B. Wallies that she had no interest in collaborating with Henry Hathaway again. Stuart Randall made his final appearance in the movie, although he remained uncredited for his role. Following John Wayne's Best Actor Oscar win for his career faced challenges, the movie Chisholm received mixed reviews and moderate business, while Rio Lobo was critically panned and commercially disappointing. Big Jake achieved better financial success, featuring graphic action scenes and humor. The Cowboys, despite positive reviews and a distinct performance from John Wayne, struggled to find an audience and were forgettable and poorly received, respectively. John Wayne's attempts to emulate Clint Eastwood as a tough detective were ridiculed due to his age, increasing weight, and predictable plotlines. Achieved moderate success, and though a better picture, made even less money. A sequel to, titled co-starring Katherine Hepburn, faced critical backlash, but was a minor hit. Contemplating retirement, John Wayne made one final movie, a stark story about a gunfighter dying of cancer. Despite receiving some of the best reviews of his career, the film struggled to recoup its costs. In summary, the success of was followed by a series of challenges for John Wayne in the latter part of his career, marked by mixed reviews, commercial disappointments, and critical backlash.